Welcome back to the show. DXB today is very happy to have our next guests on the sofa. They're not only business partners, they are sisters dedicated to transforming the beauty landscape for all makeup enthusiasts in the city and beyond. Through their makeup brand, Citizen Cosmetics, please welcome to the show, Elise and Nasi Khan. Thank you so much for having us. Very, Very excited to, to be here. You. So how is it working together as sisters? It's definitely been a journey because we have to go from being just sisters to now business partners. So we've had to kind of create some boundaries for ourselves. So one big hack is just having two WhatsApp group chats. One is purely just for work and then one is for personal because as soon as the two get combined, it can be a complete mess. <laughs> so we definitely feel like that's like our one thing that we have to do. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Fantastic. What inspired you to launch your own brand, Citizen Cosmetics? I believe I have one of your lipsticks, the red one. It's called Lal, which yeah. translates to red in Hindi. Correct? Exactly, exactly. So we just felt like we wanted the beauty industry to feel like an equal experience for everyone because growing up we could never find shades that would just suit our skin tone or our undertone. So we just thought it was so important to create the essentials for your kit but in your perfect shade for all complexions. So that's kind of how it started. So I know that you've won some awards, the Allure Best of Beauty Award. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that and uh, yeah. what that meant for you and the brand? So basically we have 25 shades of nude lipsticks and glosses. So we oh. won two Allure Best of Beauty Awards, one in 2019 for Best Neutral Lipstick for Medium Skin Complexion, and then in 2020 Best Neutral Lipstick for Deeper Skin Complexion. So that I think meant a lot to us because it gave us recognition that we have your shade of nude um, for your complexion. So it was really exciting to get that kind of near when we launched. Incredible. Yeah. Girls, what an, uh, an inspiring name. From where you got that name Citizen? I think because we feel like we're such third culture kids and I think a lot of people can relate living in Dubai. You're from here, you're from there. Um, ethnically, we're pa Pakistani. We were born in LA and grew up in Dubai. So. When someone would ask us where you're from, our grandmother always said, tell people you're citizens of the world. And we're like, I don't know if we can say that at a party, but like, <laughs> I'd get what you mean. So that's kind of how citizen, um, the word citizen. So your grandma is. was the inspiration. Yes, always. she's always the inspiration. It's beautiful. Yeah. And, and, and with that recognition, obviously, um, you know, you won awards and yes. you've got celebrities wearing your makeup as well. Yes. I think we have really good relationships with celebrity makeup artists. They honestly are the true celebrities. If they fall in love with your product, they're going to use it on their clients. And we've gotten lucky um, so far. For example, Beyonce had her concert in Atlantis and um, all the dancers on stage, around 140 people, were all wearing their perfect nude lipstick. Ooh, so incredible. again, just gave us recognition we have your shade, but it was also such a cool moment for us to like see it on stage in Dubai where we grew up. Yeah. And Beyonce yeah. actually also wore it at an award show, so that was like pinch me yes. moment for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of the products here. Yes. Can you just talk us through these two shades? Yes, so um, basically the product is double-ended. So you have a creamy matte on one side, and then on the other end is a matching lip gloss. So you kind That's of nice. have That's good. two That's and nice. one, depending on your mood. I like yeah. to pair both together. But yeah, these are just two shades to show you guys that we're saying this is a nude just as much as this is a nude. Okay. So um, nude is so based on your skin complexion and also your natural lip pigmentation. Um, but a lot of people think nude is just one or two colors. Yeah. But Obviously, it's, it's way more than yeah, that. Yeah, I love that because when you talk yeah. about inclusivity, you aut automatically think about foundations, concealers, mm -hmm. exactly. things like that. But it can yeah. also be, like you said, like a nude lip. Exactly. Yeah. Even between my sisters and I, we all have different nude shades that work for us. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Elise, I want to ask you a little bit about the relationship of makeup brands with influencers because mm -hmm. <clears throat> a, a super influential uh, content creator can make or break your yep. brand. So, how important is it? to target the right kind of influencers. No, it's actually so important because we actually had a moment in 2021 where Michaela Naguera, this huge TikToker, she posted about our products and it went viral. It literally crashed our website where we were like freaking out, like what is happening? Um, so I feel like if you target the right person where it feels authentic, where they have a genuine interest in the kinds of products that we're selling, there's like that connection that consumers feel. But I feel like if it feels forced or feel like, feels like a paid ad, then there's not really that conversion that works. Um, so we like to just gift organically and then see if they like the products and they, they can post about it. But we never want to force someone to feel like they have to talk about our products if they don't genuinely resonate with it. Now, I uh, mentioned Rihanna. Uh, she's from Barbados. Um, Love Rihanna. I've got part of Barbados <laughs> heritage as well. Amazing. Amazing. Um, and she's got her makeup brand. And, and part of the inspiration was that because 
there was no makeup brand that was dealing with her skin type and skin colour. You growing up as a uh, Pakistani, did you have the same sort of uh, drive? Yeah, definitely. I think we also launched around the same time. So we always felt like we couldn't find shades that suited our complexion. A lot of us people with co uh, people of color, they have a lot of pigmentation on their face, on their lips, on their eyelids. So sometimes you do need to mix a few shades to create that perfect shade. So that's kind of what inspired us with Citizen is to have a shade for every skin tone without having to do the mixing and matching and just um, having a brand that's catered to all skin complexion. Actually, what amazed me that we were discussing inside, they were using the vegan sources, so... Even better. Yes. Even even better, and it's going to be a limited resources, so I'm sure they had a hard time making the right shade for us. Mm. Yeah, because it's easy to create a vegan product, but it's harder to create a vegan product that's high performing um, in color and performance, so um, we didn't want to compromise on the quality, so yeah. Where can people find your products? So you can find us online, so www.citizencosmetics.com, and it's spelled C-T-Z-N. Um, and in Dubai, we're actually in a store called Nysa, which is in Murdoff Mall right now, but they're expanding in the region as well. So we're excited for people to shop us there. Okay. So th these are for me and Amy, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. What's your fault? Come on. Thank you, you, know, you, know, yes, yes, thank you so much. Our specialty is shade matching people, so we already have the shades in our head of what would suit you guys. So. What do I do? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> we, we have some products for you too, don't worry. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, girls, thank you so much for joining us. It's thank been you. really interesting to find out more about the brand. <clears throat> I want you to stay with us while we find out a little bit more about Dr. Maha. So I'm going to hand over to Ash because I believe it's DXB in 60. Yes, Amy. So Dr. Maha, are you ready for our quiz? You need to answer as many questions as possible within 60 seconds. All oh. right. Okay, I'm <laughs> not ready. Okay. <laughs> Your time is three, two, one. Let's go. If you weren't working in the skincare industry, what would you be doing? Surgery. Your motto in life and in work? Uh, knowledge. A superpower you wish you had? Um, reading people's minds. Your first <laughs> job? <laughs> Doctor. The last app used on your phone? Uh, an Instagram. Your favorite skincare treatment? Uh, microneedlings. Your tip for those looking into getting treatments? Finding a good doctors. Your go-to destination in Dubai? Uh, Jumeirah Hotels. If you could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? My parents. Favorite book? Uh, Agatha Christie. Uh, favorite podcast? Here. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot, actually. I cannot say one specifically. Uh, last watched series? Uh, last watched series? I believe it was an Arabic one. Yeah, you should watch Baby Reindeer. It's my favorite at the moment. <laughs> Finally, why Dubai? Why Dubai? Um, I, I like to move around. I'm an expert injector, so I don't like, I like to have license over the license, over the license. You can say I'm the education or the knowledge nerd. So Dubai was one of the steps that I wanted to do, and, but I loved it. I usually stay in one place, then I go every month for one clinic in each country. But residence wise, I love Dubai, the diversity. Dr. Maha, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on My the pleasure. show Thank and sharing. You. Thank all you for your having us. Thank Thanks all of our guests. Yes, Thank you absolutely. so much. Thank, Thank you. For having us. Good luck with everything Thank for you. Citizen in the Thank future, you. Dr. Maha. Thank you. My See pleasure. you again soon. Thank you so much for having us. Most definitely. Now we are almost at the end of the show, but don't go anywhere because we've got Lexi closing the night with a wonderful performance. You wow. don't want to miss it. Stick around. Mm.